Good morning, guys. We are on our way to a um, local farm to do. They have um, a question. Huh? Is that a question? A local farm. Uh, a local farm. Uh, you want to go see tractors hmm. and eat pancakes? Yeah. So they're making like homemade pancakes with local um, syrup and then syrup or syrup syrup. I say syrup syrup so yeah we're going to a local farm and they're doing like tractor rides and things like that so we just thought it would be a fun thing to do on a saturday morning so it's like almost 40 degrees out it's actually really really nice some people are probably thinking that's freezing right but it's really warm this time of year so off we go okay update um the event was canceled due to coronavirus i'm bummed i'm really bummed because i was excited to see the baby like see all the tractors and that was just like a fun thing. So, we're going out to breakfast. Um, we'll see how that goes. It'll probably be fine. He's probably just going to want to hang out in color. And we could go to John Deere and test drive. <laughs> we need to get breakfast. I know, I'm saying <laughs> Listen to your tone. No, I did that on purpose. I have, guys, I've oh, said so this shitty. a million times on my channel lately, but m my camera settings, I can't figure them out. I'm blurry and half of my footage I'm getting so frustrated and I need to bring my camera into like Best Buy and ask them how to run my own camera because I don't I don't know what I'm doing um the rest of the day when we get home he is gonna go down for a nap probably around like 11 at the latest and then I have a bunch of work to do what are you gonna do honey while he naps party she turns two so we're gonna do that which I won't film there just because there's gonna be like a ton of kids and everything but then we have date night tonight we don't have the baby where are we going I don't know Mexican probably can't handle my hair it looks good but mullet mullet mania Thank you. Wow. It is so cold out, guys. It's only the wind, too. Oh, the wind is like insane right now. It was so much warmer earlier. Like, there was not wind like that. Mm -hmm. So, we just played. I don't even know if we made it 15 minutes. Maybe. Oh, I have a blanket. Like, I took Braxton's blanket and just shook what it out really ready? good and wrapped up in it because, wow. <laughs> All right. So we just got back from the park and we're gonna do an unboxing. So this is inkindboxes.org. They sent me an in-kind box. So what they are, I pulled up their Instagram, um, which I will either leave on the screen or down below if you guys wanna follow them, but it's a great organization. Um, it says we donate gift boxes filled with organic baby care items to families in need. Buy a box and we donate to one to a mama in need, which I think is incredible. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here's the first item. Do you want to show them this? Here, why don't you stand up, sweetie, and you can see. Here, do you want to? So the first item is this Earth Mama, what does it say, see? Sweet Orange Baby Lotion. Do you want to smell it? Can we put that back on here? Let go for a second. Yeah. Smell. Dada. Dada. You want to bring it over for daddy to smell? Yeah. 
We gotta put the cap back on it. Here. Hey, bring it over for Daddy to smell. Bring it over. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff in here oh, I good. see is this Earth Mama pro um, brand. So this is organic periodic tea for PMS, period, and postpartum. So that's cool. I've actually never heard of that. That's really cool. Um, also by Earth Mama, this is organic baby diaper balm. So that is obviously super useful. We still use diaper balm on him. He like has very sensitive skin and often has like a rash or something. So <laughs> what, you want to be in the video too? Go <laughs> boy. What do you smell? That smells so good. I think it's a bark box or something. Oh, probably. You want a special treat? Oh, maybe? Bubba. Let's get back to the toy. Huh? This next one is by Kindred Brave... Bravely? Brave New Motherhood. Um, it says, as a nursing mom, I tried every breast pad on the market, leaked through them all. These nursing pads are the result of months of research and design to deliver the perfect combination of comfort and functionality. So, breast pads, which I will definitely use. It's cute. It comes in this little pouch here, and you get your two little breast pads. These are really soft, actually. They feel like they'd be really comfortable. I'm going to put that one back in the box. Do you want to try something else? What about this one? Oh, you want that one. Okay. So, that's really cool. Next in here I see is the Enriched with Nat. Yeah, can I show them on the camera? Yeah, Ultra Hydrating Birch Leaf Moisturizing Balm Mask. This is by K Bella Professional. Never heard of that brand, but. Dada? I think you went to the bathroom. But yeah, I love moisturizing masks right now because I told you guys a million times my skin is so dry. Um, this little scrunchie, this is by Lily and Meg. It's really cute, like floral print. Love that. I have worn scrunchies more as a mom. And I don't know if it's because it just happens to be like kind of a trend right now, but also I just always need to like throw my hair up on top of my head really quick, whether it be to clean up after him, like after lunch or um, to run outside and play for a little bit. And I don't want to use like a hair elastic because it's going to leave a bump in my hair. So I often will like throw it up in a scrunchie. Braxton, you need to relax. In here I see is this Hello Farm book and this is really cool. It says chew proof, rip proof, non-toxic, and 100% washable. Do you have the cap in your mouth? Can you take can you take the cap out of your mouth, please? I don't want you to choke on it, okay? Whoops. Okay, we're all done with that. I don't want this in your mouth because it could you could choke on it. It's not safe to chew on, okay? Yeah. Let's show them this and then you can play with this. So next is the Earth Mama Simply Non-Scented Body Wash. Um, that looks really nice. I'm anxious to try that brand. This book is really cute though. The texture is like really different. You can tell it would be like hard to rip or ruin or anything. And it's really lightweight. So they can... What baby? Take the cover off. Next is this in-kind swaddle blanket. This is so cute and how fun because we're having a girl and I feel like this is maybe just a little bit more on the girly side, but so adorable. I love swaddle blankets. I love these like muslin cloth and things. It's 100% cotton muslin. Next, I see Happy Little Campers 100% natural cotton baby wipes. I just like having like a small pack of wipes either in the car or in the diaper bag. A great little travel pack there. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, some Hello Bello Apple Blossom Hand Sanitizer. Yes, necessity right now. Definitely need that in your diaper bag. And also this Coconut Smoothie Lip Balm. Do you want to try this lip balm? This is by Earth Mama, by the way, the lip balm. Do you want to try this? Yeah. Smell. Yeah. That's Brax. Did you put some on him? K 
Okay, can you bring it back over here? Get the cap out of your mouth, please. Thank you. Also in here is the Earth Mama Vegan Nipple Butter. So that will be very helpful when baby number two comes along. Last thing I see in here is this little baby health care kit. It includes baby care, wellness, and safety guide. So it has like the little snot and mucus to sucker. I don't know what those are called. A thermometer. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like maybe something for them to take medicine in. Nail clippers and a little comb. So that is awesome. Oh, it also looks like it comes with a little pouch as well to put everything in. Yeah. So cute. So that would be something maybe good to like throw in your car or throw in like a travel bag or something. Thank you so much to InKind for sending that to me. Again, every box that is purchased, they donate one to somebody in need. So I think their mission is really great and I love supporting companies like that. This box is wonderful. Like it's super helpful and I love that they send you necessities that you would actually need and use. So yeah, this would be an amazing baby shower gift if you wanted to purchase one of these for like a friend that is having a baby then you could do that and then you would know that you're also like donating one to somebody in need so i just think that's really great and wanted to mention that so baby should be going down for his nap pretty soon um and then i've got to get to work i also need to do something with my hair before the party because i washed it last night and then slept on it i should have showed it to you guys this morning but i posted a picture on instagram on my story of how crimpy my hair is this pregnancy and I, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure my hair was like this with Knox too, but it's like all crimpy underneath, like crimp, not curly. It's like, like really weird. So I just straightened it this morning, but I'm going to put some product in it and probably curl it this afternoon. So do that. And then I got a lot of work to do today. I got to like focus. Okay guys, I have to hurry and show you what I'm wearing really quick because Kyle's going to come inside and be like, are you ready? <laughs> Okay, this is my outfit. Wow, you can like barely see it. But I have these maternity jeans on. These are by Ava and Alex, I think is what they're called. I've struggled to find them online, so I don't know what the deal is with those, but um, they're so cute. I get them at Burlington. My top is from Old Navy. It's like from two or three years ago, though. Um, it was on sale for like $4.99. It is a maternity top, but I just have it tied here because my cleavage is currently out of control. I have some earrings on from Jane.com. I love these. They're so fun. I like how they go with this top. And then also, the boots are from Jane.com as well. And I love these. They're so comfy. Um, I was just talking to Emily, though. My outfit, I feel like, is very loud. I have, like, big earrings, bright shirt, and, like, cheetah shoes. <laughs> but these are the only shoes that I feel like go with this. So I'm just going to rock it. But off we go. Hey guys, so we just got back from my niece's, or our niece's, Birthday She's party? Nice. She was all about you today. I know, I you. Kai Kai. She um, turned two and it was a lot of fun. It was a really cute party. Um, and then we were supposed to have date night and go out to eat and stuff, but Knox was like very clingy all day. Um, and we finally like took his temperature around six something because he was just getting like really not himself. And he had a temp of like 101.5 or something so we were like uh yep you're coming home with us so we brought him home he was originally he was gonna go to my dad's for the night um yeah but we brought him home just so that we can keep an eye on him and so he can just be in his own space and have a good night's sleep so it's movie night again tonight we had movie night last night but i'm just as content with that and honestly we ate so much at the birthday party and you know how you just like snack the whole time neither of us are really hungry but Anywho, so we're in our comfies and we're just gonna watch a movie. I don't know what we're gonna watch yet. We just, what are we on again? What is this, Amazon? Amazon Prime. Amazon Have you seen Prime. that trailer for Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler? Uncut Gems, no. It's what else was I gonna say? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Cracking cold ones. Thank you, Miller Lite. They just recently sent us um, a pallet of beer. We're doing a new partnership with them. It's a collab. <laughs> PR. PR. Another time. Oh, that'd be your dream. That's when you'd start a YouTube channel. I would. Oh, Miller Lite has no idea who we are. Well, I said that about Vitacoco and then I worked with them. There you go. Which, that was really cool. Miller Lite, if you're out there. You said that last time about Vitacoco. You're like, Vitacoco, sponsor us. Which they didn't sponsor us, but they did send us. I'm batting a thousand. PR. Um, 
we are going to watch our movie and um, I'll probably pick up the vlogging again tomorrow because we didn't really vlog that much. I was going to vlog our date night and stuff, but... Yeah. We're still having a date night. This is it. Poor sweetie. I Poor hate guy. when he's sick. I know. Especially fever. Like, they're just, like, sad. So sad. Guys, I need to show you something. Look. Guys. Look. I have my leg. Can we... Let me take my sock off. You guys, look at this. Yeah. Pregnancy is not all <laughs> fun and beautiful. I know that I'm super positive about being pregnant all the time. And, like, I know how lucky I am to love being pregnant. But a lot of times I do choose to love it because it is no joke. And it's definitely not easy. Like, those veins hurt and when I get up in the morning that vein like by my knee literally like throbs as soon as I stand on my feet so it's like really uncomfortable and I have to have my feet up whenever I can which is never I just don't like to sit down ever um so yeah I just wanted to show you that because that's real life and I feel like I'm always just sharing like the positive parts and it's just it ain't all cute we're gonna pick out a movie and chill. Got my uh, water over here. By the way, I painted my nails. Do you guys like this color? I think it's really pretty. It's fun for spring. It's the Essie Ballet Slippers. I think it's like a pretty neutral pink. It's kind of a little bit cool toned maybe, but I'm really enjoying it. I love pregnancy nails. My nails look so good when I'm pregnant. And then you have the baby, your hair falls out, your nails fall off, and Everything goes to shit. Morning, guys. Um, I completely um, forgot that I was vlogging today. This is a nice little friend here that I have. Yeah, we got up this morning and like had breakfast and everything, and then we actually went for a walk, and it was so freaking cold outside. Like, so cold. So we didn't last too long. But I wanted to show you guys this bike that Kyle's um, mom got for Knox. It's freaking awesome. So I will link it down below. This is by Juvie, but it has like the little pedals so they can like pedal on their own once they like understand how to ride a bike. But then there's also a little footrest and like we can strap him in and everything. And you guys know that Knox is like, you know, fairly small, um, especially for his age. He is very, very small. So um, he actually fits in here comfortably and very safely. Like I kind of thought that this bike was going to be too big for him, but it was perfect and it definitely has plenty of room to grow so yeah he absolutely loved this but we took it out today and we went like around the park and stuff and it was a lot of fun it was really easy to push and this like steers it so yeah it was fun to push and really easy it's lightweight and I would highly recommend it if you guys are looking for something like that like an alternative to a stroller because he is much more likely to sit in this for a long period of time than he is our stroller because eventually in the stroller he just wants to get out and run around so but now I am procrastinating a workout that I really should do so I'm gonna pick something out on YouTube and do like a little workout and then I just had some chips and salsa because that was starving but it is 9 45 now babe's not gonna go down for a nap for probably another hour so um, I think I mentioned last night that he has a fever or had a fever. He is feeling a lot better. He's still not like totally himself. He's still like a little um, like fussy, but he's a lot better. He's like independently playing and he's like interested in a little bit of food here and there again. So that's good. Seems to be feeling better and his temperature is gone. So we're on the up. Right now they're just sitting back here reading and playing. Okay, so don't mind the toy in the background. Um, but I'm going to do this 10 minute standing ab workout and this full upper body workout. Um, I'm going to combine those two or just do one after the other. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do for my workout. This is by Mad Fit. So I will link her channel down below. She's awesome. She does really great at home workouts. And they're generally, as you guys can see, like 15, 20 minutes, like super quick workouts. So great for, um, you know, people who want to work out at home but don't feel like they have a lot of time. I always go to her channel. And like I said, I like to... What, baby? Mama, dada. <laughs> I like to combine them if I want like a longer workout. So, let's do this. Who's that handsome dude? <laughs> 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 
still cannot see you at all. <laughs> this is what we're filming on, guys. So we're gonna be taste testing some cookies from this company called Nun Believable. Num Nun Believable. Hunger ends with Nun Believable. Together we can end hunger in a delicious way. One box of 12 cookies equals two meals that they donate to um, people who need them. So I think that's really cool. I'm not going to lie, I've tried the chocolate chip flavor of these and. And I had the peanut butter one. I have nothing bad to say about it. We'll taste test. So we have oatmeal raisin here. Do you want to try one of these? Yeah. So it's you get one. unbleached and rich flour, um, yeah. barley flour, iron, rolled oats, cane sugar, eggs, syrup. Yeah. Pretty good ingredients in here. So. All right. So this is oatmeal raisin. Oh, good milk. Okay. Thank you. Your baby? Cheers. 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 I don't like oatmeal raisin, mm. so we'll see. That's good. You try it? Oh. Want one of the other ones? Mmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. But I really don't like oatmeal raisin because I don't really like raisins, but you that tastes really it. good. It's like chewy and sweet, but I don't like when cookies are just purely sweet. I like when you can almost taste like that buttery flavor. Mm. And I feel like you can taste that. Okay, let's do peanut butter cookie. Mm. Oh, these are non-GMO, no... Oh, preservatives. <laughs> but look at the, look at the font. Oh, yeah. Uh, no preservatives, no artificial flavors. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, do, do, do. oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that one's really good. Wow. Oh. Struggling. Is that good? Yeah. That is delicious. That one's really, really good. Yeah, that one's good. They're like thick and chewy and moist. They, they feel like a cookie that you just cooked and they've like cooled off. Mm. Like they are fresh. They don't taste like a packaged cookie at all. Okay, this one's That's chocolate chip. I couldn't resist. I had to try this one the other day. Mm. Here, sweetie, you want to try chocolate chip? <clears throat> chocolate. Good? Did you try it? Yeah. Let me help you. Good. Good. <laughs> Is it so good? More. Oh yeah, that one deserves a dance. What was your favorite? Well, chocolate. I don't have like any recommendation for it to be any better. Do you? No. No, it's just like a really good cookie. Mm. It does. It tastes like it's right out of the oven. Like, it's like a bakery, something you like, go and get at a bakery. It's not super gooey, but it's like gooey enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Thank you so much to Unbelievable for sending those to us. They're delicious. One more bite for Dada. Oh, they're so good. I haven't tried this one yet. <laughs> no. Does Brax want a piece of that oatmeal raisin? That's very good for him. Probably. Make sure there's no chocolate in it. No, there's no chocolate in an oatmeal raisin. Oh. So glad I put that in his bowl so that he could then bring it onto the carpet. The bowl. Like. Good thing we have a yeah, ruggable oh. rug. If you guys missed my last video, my apartment tour, I talked all about this rug. It's from Ruggable. You can literally peel up the top layer and throw it in the wash. So, <clears throat> thank goodness, because this is a daily struggle. Okay guys, I'm about to run out. This is my outfit. Um, these are maternity leggings from um, Target. This sweater is from TJ Maxx. 
My jacket is from Marshalls, I believe. Marshalls, yeah. Or TJ Maxx. And then my boots are from Kohl's. They're just like little the boots I wear all the time. But yeah, it's my little outfit of the day. I'm gonna run out and just do some stuff by myself. <laughs> You gonna dump the bucket on your head? You want me to do it? Alright, you ready? You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this One, in. two, three. We bought him this little fishing pole at Target, guys, and he loves it. It's got like a little magnet on the end, so it picks up the fish. It's super cute. What in the world? Okay, so I just got back from just spending time by myself and doing a little bit of shopping. Um, I love shopping for the kids. That's like my favorite thing to do right now. Especially now that I can, sorry, my camera's freaking out. I'm trying to get it in a good position. Um, yeah, especially now that I can shop for a boy and a girl. I just like, it's so fun for me. What, baby? Yeah, I just, I love shopping the kids section because I get to shop both boys and girls and it's just so fun. Um, so lately I've been on like a thrifting kick and... I think it's because I'm just getting to the realization that we're now going to be buying clothes for two kids and with your second baby you obviously like we're going to do a sprinkle but it's not going to be like a full on shower we're not going to get as much stuff so we're just like responsible for getting most of her clothes and most of the things she needs this time around um, and I'm just coming to the realization that like Knox has grown out of all of his clothes right now and it's just really expensive and I've been like determined to find really good stuff at the thrift stores and things like that and I've had really good luck between the sound effects and Kyle dancing in the hallway a little distracted let me show you yeah I'll show you what I got from Goodwill I was so excited to find this this is in 24 months I think but it looks small like it looks like it would almost fit Knox now is this Timberland sweatshirt so look at the detail on this this was two dollars guys I'm obsessed like I think it is so ridiculously cute it's kind of like got like bat wing sleeves sort of but yeah i love that it's like a hoodie and i mean obviously it's like nice quality because of the brand but so excited um and the next thing i grabbed so the rest of the stuff is for me i found a lot of good stuff for um dressing my bump at goodwill and i just feel like with maternity stuff like it's hard to buy really trendy pieces because you don't know when you're going to be pregnant again and it's just like I don't know, I feel like buying good basics is better or buying trendy pieces that are really inexpensive is your best option. I was like holding that back hard. So everything I bought is kind of like trendy or it's basic. And uh, yeah, I just try to get it really inexpensive because you don't know what you're gonna like the next time you're pregnant, um, if you plan to be. But at Goodwill, this was $6, which is kind of like annoying because it's Goodwill. But it's just this white and gray, um, like, little t-shirt dress. The way this fits and feels is, like, spot on. It looks like a maternity top. Um, I like that it has these little, this little, like, cut in the side, the little slit, whatever it's called. Um, but it's just so soft, so stretchy, and it's not see-through. So it's not, like, fitted. It still, like, fits like a t-shirt dress, but it also is very flattering on your bump. And I felt like if I just threw this jacket on over it, and even with these earrings, I don't know, I just thought it would be really cute with leggings and sneakers so so excited about that and honestly even though it was like five or six dollars whatever felt like it was worth it the next thing i got from a goodwill with this top this ended up being a dollar fifty so love the color of it you guys know that i just love wearing this mauve color but the bottom has this really cool like texture on it and it actually is like ripped and shredded right here and in a couple other places um does this bum hurt yeah oh um, yeah, this is in a medium and it kind of scoops down. It's not maternity, but I just feel like because it's like one or two sizes up from my normal size, it actually fits really well. And yeah, I like that kind of like ripped 
texture at the bottom it just kind of works let me show you guys what it looks like when it's on so it almost looks intentional i don't know maybe you guys know what i'm saying maybe you don't but i thought it actually looked more expensive like when i saw it i was like oh my gosh is that free people or something just because the rip made me think that it was going to be more expensive next i found this top at goodwill this was three dollars and it is this white maternity top that is originally from old navy and it's got this like lace um, cut out design on the sleeves, which I love and then this little cutout in the back, which is just kind of cute um, But it has like the little scrunch side so that your belly can grow. I felt like for three dollars This is like a cute basic white tee um, That every pregnant mama should have because yeah, it's easy to style so three dollars The next thing I grabbed is just this a black sweater. This is actually really lightweight That's why I bought it for this time of year. I thought this would be cute black leggings my denim jacket or my camo jacket and some sneakers easy to wear to like open gym or something when I bring the baby but it's just this black sweater it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see I'm holding it backwards <laughs> um, but it like scoops down in the front and the back and then it has like a pretty decent size Can you guys see that slit in the side so yeah it's really flattering kind of how it like scoops your bum and everything and just the way it like fits my bump I liked the material this is a brand that's usually at um, it's Joanne Buss it's usually at TJ Maxx and stuff so it was probably like a $20 sweater to begin with from Burlington I grabbed these for Knox these are Oshkosh and they're so cute they're like little um, overalls shorts overall shorts what am I trying to say yeah and I just thought this would be really cute in the summer with like a little tank top underneath or even just a white onesie or something and some little sandals easy and I love buying denim like baby products because you can wash them and wear them and wash them and wear them and they just last a lot longer so and this was ten dollars nine ninety nine then he is in need of new pajamas so I grabbed these little footy pajamas he is now in 18 months so and these were six ninety nine so pretty good deal and they're really soft too and they're like lightweight He's like a cold sleeper. I feel like he's always been kind of like a cold baby. He usually sleeps in fleece pajamas So <clears throat> obviously where it's getting warmer We don't need that but he still prefers like long sleeves and stuff. That's just like the way he seems to be more comfortable um, I also grabbed these ones. These ones don't have the feet in them, but they just have like little sharks and stuff on them Thought these were cute $5.99 found these on sale. These are by Nautica and I got these for $9.99 um I thought these would be great in the fall. These are gonna be his size come fall time. Do you wanna come say hi? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Give mama a kiss. I love right. you. Did you put his pajamas on there? Nope. Didn't do a thing, honey. What the? I know, I'm a waste of space today. <laughs> So yeah, I just thought these were really cute. They're kind of like high tops and then I like that they have the Velcro because obviously that just makes them really easy to slip on and off. I also like this little detail on the tongue that just says Nautica. Not that you see it, I guess, but it's kind of cute. So got those. Then the next thing I grabbed was for a baby girl and this I am hoping, Braxton, I am hoping it fits her in the winter. Um, I just thought it might be something good that she can wear like in her car seat or if we decide to go for a walk like in the fall or something and Yeah, just thought that would be really good. This was $9.99. I'm not sure if I mentioned that but I like the color and like the quilted texture and all of that So I bought that one other thing that I got at Burlington. This was $6.99 is this t-shirt So it's kind of cropped and I've been wanting like a graphic t-shirt to wear and I thought this one would be really cute like tied up like that over like a loose white tank top with leggings and sneakers or even like with a dress or a skirt I thought this would be really cute and yeah I just kind of liked the design on it so I got that next from Target if I had known I was gonna find that white t-shirt at Goodwill I probably would have skipped out on this one but at the same time I love this t-shirt and I feel like in maternity wear it's hard to find like oversized fits or um, like loose basic t like t-shirts and things like that because I feel like everything's fitted because you want to show your bump okay <laughs> I'm like talking a million miles per hour and saying too much but this is like the perfect loose t-shirt while still being flattering on your bump but it's just a white t-shirt I like the like rolled cuff uh, sleeves in the little pocket and then it's got the little scrunchy side again so that your belly can grow and it's got the little slit in the side too it's a little bit longer in the back and it does cover my bum so 
I don't know, I just really, really liked this. When I put it on, I was like, yes. And then I just needed a couple of um, beauty items. So the first thing I picked up were these Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost Hydrating Masks. But these ones are like a jelly texture. Like it's, um, on, it's on like a, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a clear jelly mask that you just like lay on your face. It's like in the shape of a face with the holes. <laughs> I just really love these. I love the way my skin looks after. It's so hydrated and like plump. And these are about $2.50 at the drugstore. And then this I actually haven't tried. It's the same um, line, but it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. I looked it up um, before I purchased it and it has like almost five stars on line. So yeah, I thought it would be good. I'm almost out of my face wash, so I just kind of figured I would pick this up. And then lastly at Target, I was looking for a tinted moisturizer. I've been wearing a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream underneath of my foundation as like a moisturizer, as something with a little extra coverage, something to even out my skin tone. My skin has been a mess since being pregnant. It was with Knox as well. And I just feel like this has really helped my skin just look better, kind of like under my makeup and things. So this I grabbed on my way out and this is the Winky Lux White Tea Tinted Veil. And this is a tinted moisturizer. I got it in, what is that? So <laughs> I almost just wiped out. What do you have? Let me see. Rum rum. Come here. Bark. Bark? Braxton barked? Baba. He barked? Baba. Come here. Do you say hi? Hi. Come here. You gonna sit with me? Okay, so um, yeah, I picked up this Winky Lux. I've never tried anything by this brand and I think they must be new to Target. It is not the least expensive brand there. It's probably the most expensive makeup brand they have there, but their packaging is absolutely incredible. Um, and again, I looked up a review to this before I purchased it and it seemed really good as well. So this has 30 SPF. I thought that would be good right before spring and summer. Um, but hello, can we talk about this packaging? Like, what is happening here? Bought this at Target, I'm sorry, what? This looks like a $60 foundation. Protect and refresh skin with this calming tea infused tinted moisturizer, white tea and pomegranate extract. Helps protect skin, white vitamin A, while vitamin A and E nourish. Sorry, this is light pink and then the writing is white and I'm in a dark room, so that was difficult. But I'm so excited to try this and I just, like, I can't get over the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. This was $28. But I did have um, a gift card, so that was, like, how I justified it. Ooh, feels like a lot will go a long way. Wow, it has a really nice scent to it. This does not smell like sunscreen whatsoever. I hate when I get, like, a tinted moisturizer or something like that. And it has SPF in it and it just smells like sunscreen. That is just not what I want. So yeah guys, I'm gonna close out the vlog here because we're gonna put little man to bed soon. Baba, do you wanna come say bye? Bye. 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 Tell everyone about your day. Did what'd you have you, a good day? What'd you do today? <laughs> oh you rode the snowmobile. Oh, you did? <laughs> really? Whoopsies. Oh no. You have a good day. Um, did you call the ducks out back? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little weekend vlog. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.